Welcome to St. Peter's Church. We extend a warm welcome to visitors and new parishioners, and thank you for being here as we celebrate the fourth Sunday of our very time here in the This mass is being offered for world peace, the poor, and the parishioners of St. Peter's. Parish announcements? Just a friendly reminder that our weekend masses during the lockdown will be on Sunday at 10 a.m. Under lockdown rules, only 10 people are allowed in the building. Please note also the following as of January 14, 2021. There will be no weekend morning class from Wednesday to Friday during the month of January. In person, indoor meetings or non religious service gatherings are not allowed in the realm of the community. Parish officers and societies are to be closed to the public and working on the first time on the community. Please refrain from attending church if any of these are not you. Any of the following symptoms, fever, coughing and wheezing, fatigue, loss of appetite, shortness of breath, excessive sweating, aching muscles, headaches, chills, confusion, mighty nose, or shaking. Contact with someone who has tested positive for COVID-19 in the past 14 days. Left the country or the province in the past 14 days. Awaiting test results from your own COVID-19 test.
have mercy on us. You take away our sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, who the Holy Spirit, we glory to God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of her. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
does not in and of itself uh, remove the use that uh, such exercise of uh, position of influence of authority is meant to serve. And that is where the picture that we got from the readings of today, especially the Gospel, comes in handy to help us. Because as the Gospel relates to us today, Jesus and his disciples went to the town of Capernaum and they got into the synagogue because it was the Sabbath day. And as we know, Sabbath is also equivalent for our Sunday celebration. So it was like Jesus coming into the the, the church, the synagogue, and then he had the opportunity to preside. He had the opportunity to take up the word of God and, you know, make it available to people, to explain the word of God to people. And as he was doing that, it was the people, not Jesus himself, who acknowledged the authority in the way Jesus was ministering. So, it means that it is not the exercise of authority that is wrong in and of itself, but it is the manner in which it is exercised. And if, if someone comes across to you as someone who is not nurturing, who is not caring, who is not looking out for you, ordinarily, you may be giving the person the impression that you are strict and that you are constraining and normally it will come across to the person like you are not allowing him or her to be fully himself or herself or to be autonomous and in that sense authority becomes something to be feared, something to be avoided, something to uh, not want to associate oneself with. But in the scenario that the Gospel presented to us, it is a different picture. Jesus nurtured the soul of the people who gathered in the synagogue such that they found his position of influence welcoming. They found something to associate themselves with. And it didn't end there. Because the Gospel went ahead to tell us that someone was sick, someone was possessed of the evil spirit, and then Jesus also healed this person by commanding the evil spirit that has taken possession of this person to leave the person. And then that even endeared Jesus more to them. Because the people said, what is this? This is so surprising. This is not like the teachings that we have been seeing because he did not just feed us, he did not just nourish us, but he did that in an amazing way. Remember, usually when people are good in what they are doing, in their position, in their places of expertise, in their vocation, we usually use the word amazing to characterize them. We usually will say, oh, he knows his stuff. Oh, she is very serving. So to be serving, to know one's stuff, to be amazing in what one is doing, is simply to acknowledge the person's authority in that place. So authority is not necessarily wrong. It is all about how the person who finds himself or herself in position of authority exercises that authority. Does the person exercise it in a caring manner? Or does the person exercise it in a very strict, condemning, harsh manner? That is what makes the difference. And that is what Jesus is teaching us through the gospel today. Of course, when we flip to the first reading, we find the same thing. Because God told Moses, to tell the people, yes, you, Moses, you are about to retire, but people shouldn't worry about your retirement because you've served them so well, and from among them, raise someone else who will continue to lead them just like you did. They loved you, they 
they somehow appeared for them, but you cannot continue to be there because your age is making it difficult for you to function better for them. But someone who is like you will also emerge. So you see that if we do have authority models, people, of course authority is not just something very far away from us. We can handle positions of authority in our homes because as parents, we have some responsibility for our kids and in the manner we handle our kids will determine whether we see, they see us as strict authority figures or if they see us as caring authority figures. Of course also in the church, it can also be that we don't like the way the pastor or the priest manages the parish, maybe because the, the priest might be too strict or we like the priest or because he's so welcoming, he's so caring and he's so nurturing in the way he manages the parish. And so on and so forth, even in the places where we work, if our supervisors or our bosses, you know, boss us around, the tendency for us not to be want to be close to that person will be there. But if there is a welcoming environment, if there is a nurturing environment, if there is an atmosphere of care and peace, we will always want to go to work, we will always want to be there, we wouldn't always want to call out and say we are sick or give one excuse or the other when we wouldn't be to. So it is all about the place. So the point today is for us to in places where we exercise influence on others, we should be able to tell if we are the nurturing kind of authority or if we are the repelling or the restrictive kind of authority. If people, if our presence expel people, if our presence really doesn't attract people, then we might have to retweak the way we function a bit to see if it is something that has to do with us or if it is something else. So let's pray today that our own influence, our own authority among us doesn't become a restrictive one, but rather let it be a welcoming one, a caring one, just as Jesus did in the gospel today. May this be our prayer to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus, 
between evil and good, we place our word to venture under the protection of Jesus, the fullness of all that is good. Let us bring our needs to him, trusting always in his power, mercy, and love. For the church, that the authoritative teachings of Jesus will guide and challenge us as we seek to be more authentic disciples. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have our prayers. For world peace and for all who exercise authority, that they may use their authority as Jesus did to free people, to heal the sick, and to build up the community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, have our prayers. For all who <coughs> that they may understand the mind and heart of God, share God's word faithfully and clearly, and awaken new insights for the renewal of the church and the advancement of the reign of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who are bound by evil, that the Spirit of Christ may release them from addictions, grief, anger, and vengeance, so that they may live in the freedom of God's children. We pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayers. For the grace to be grounded in God, that each of us, whether salvaged, single, married, or widow, may see God first in our lives and love others with the love with which God first loves us. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. For healing and strength, that God will heal the sick, curb the transmission of the coronavirus, sustain all who care for the sick, guide those who are working to administer the vaccine. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our deceased loved ones, especially Father Paul McDonald and Deacon Richard <coughs> Turpin of this diocese, that God may bring them into the everlasting joy of his presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us pray. Almighty God, we rejoice that your Son spoke the truth of your love with authority, and we pray that you will drive from us all that is not holy, that our every word and deed may bear witness to your power to heal and save as we proclaim Jesus as the Messiah, the Lord who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
the sovereign cancel out our sins, by his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so the company of angels and saints will sing the hymn of your praise as without end. We are clean. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon the body to fall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it to his broken. Give it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given half to you. In a similar way, when suppose was ended, he took the child some more small given times. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you that drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will fall out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, to this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chance of salvation, giving thanks to the helpless holy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember all of your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis the first of Pope, Mercy of our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. <coughs> mercy. Welcome them into the light of the face and mercy us all we pray. The will bless the Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph our spouse, who the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to through all the ages. We may bury to the cold edge to eternal life and embrace and glorify the tree of song of Jesus Christ. True him and with him and in him, O God, mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we learn to pray. Our oh, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy be thy name on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from any great evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all anxiety, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give to you. You look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace. Of the Lord be with you always. Let us now offer to each other a sign of peace.
Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this how to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke you. Humbly pray and do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world seeking the union of soul. Amen. The Lord be with you. Mm, yes, 
Spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless us and may all be the peace of Christ. Thank you. 